Eduardo Moyan University is part of a um, higher education system in Mozambique. Uh, founded in 62, is the first university in the country and the oldest too. Uh, and uh, in the last years now we are getting it to uh, 60 years of existence in the country. In the last years we have been responsible for the training of many Mozambicans uh, who are now working in different parts of the country and also in Mozambique. So. Uh, in the beginning of our institution, we were a relatively small institution uh, with very few courses. Uh, but uh, after independence, uh, in the beginning it was called the Universidad de Lorenz Marques, or Estudo Gerais Universitarios. From independence onwards, it was then called Eduardo Molian University. Uh, this is the recognition of the efforts of Dr. Eduardo Molian who was the first president of the Freedom Fighters movement. As I was saying, uh, at the beginning we were a very small university. Uh, with the independence, uh, we were forced to change our vision because the country had the lack of lectures or teachers for secondary school. So the university itself was transformed, I have to say, in a kind of a training institute, institute for the teachers for secondary, uh, for secondary schools. Apart of that, there were some courses which were still existing, but the majority of them were closed because the country didn't have enough uh, lectures for the university, didn't have enough uh, uh, also uh, teachers for the secondary school. So the, the priority was teaching for, for the, the, the secondary school teachers. This uh, was like this uh, for a, a long period, I have to say. Uh, but in eight, 1985, uh, the government has decided uh, to create an institution which is responsible for the uh, training of teachers. So from that time on, the training of teachers was removed to another institution and the university started again to be a full and a comprehensive university in Mozambique. From that side on, we started to offer different courses. We are offering almost all courses from agronomy to veterinary sciences. Uh, and uh, we are organized in um, faculties and schools. So we have 11 faculties. Uh, and we have also six schools, a part of some centers of, uh, of, uh, of, of research. This university has been in the last years a teaching university, uh, but from 2013 uh, we have decided to transform ourselves in a research-led university because we were convinced that uh, as Mozambique has many universities, uh, we should make a difference trying to do something different because we have the human capital, we have the infrastructure, so we decided to be a research-led university in our vision and our mission. So this, uh, the fact that uh, we made this differentiation of living to be a more teaching university, to be a more uh, research-led university, is what makes me proud about uh, the Eduardo Moya University. The Eduardo Moya University, as, as, as mentioned, has almost all the faculties and all areas of study. And uh, for us, as I said, research is important. But uh, in a country like ours, where you have uh, small problems in, in the communities, we think that uh, research as such is not a solution for the basic problems we have. Uh, it is important, yes, for publications, all, other, all these things which are imp important for an academic. But we think that uh, the application of the results to the problems of the community, this should be the way to go. Uh, because we have sanitary problems, we have food problems, we have uh, uh, lack of water, uh, all these things. Our idea, idea is that we should use the results to improve 
the living of the, the communities. And, and for example, in agriculture, uh, we think our result, research results are responsible, for example, to increase the productivity of some crops, basic crops, because the people are using uh, cowpea, uh, groundnut, all these small, small scale farmers, they can benefit from our research. Uh, in agriculture also, the, another example is that we have many pests and diseases and uh, uh, the, the small, small scale farmers, they don't have sometimes the pesticides to it. So they will use the basic methods which are used at the university so that uh, we can, they can combat the, 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 the pesticides. In the area of water and the sanitation, also we have some examples in which uh, using, uh, for example, plants, we can clean the water. Using some seeds, we can also clean the water so that the population has a, a kind of a, a better, a better, a better um, condition, water which, which is can kind of be usable. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, the country doesn't have a, 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 very, a, a very nice energy grid. So we have a center for renewable, renewable energies, which is helps uh, the, 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 the people who are far from the city to have a kind of clean energy. But this also energy can also use it for the schools, uh, for the hospitals. And uh, these are some examples on how the sage can be used to improve the conditions of the poor communities which are still facing basic problems, as I said, in, in Mozambique. This is why we give extension a very important, uh, we give uh, extension importance, but in the sense that uh, research without application is not uh, enough for a country like ours. Our university has at the moment about 40,000 students from uh, BCs, Masters and PhDs, uh, about uh, 2,000 technical staff, and about uh, 160 academic staff. So this is the, uh, the community which we have at the, at the, at the, at the university. Um, as I said, we are a very comprehensive university, and uh, for us, uh, one of the many challenges we have, uh, this is the infrastructure. infrastructure. Um, every year we receive uh, about uh, 20,000 candidates who want to come to the university, uh, but uh, we can only absorb about 5,000. It means the issue of access to higher education uh, at, for our university and for the country and for the region is still a, a high priority uh, because there are many children who are not coming to the university because we do not have enough space. So I think the issue of um, uh, infrastructure will be important to, in order to improve access to higher education in Mozambique. Uh, the other issue is that, uh, as I said, we have uh, many universities now, which are offering different courses. But uh, as the Eduardo Moyano University, we want to continue to be a prestigious university. In order to be a prestigious university, we have to invest on the quality. So quality assurance is uh, something what is uh, important at all levels. Uh, I mean, an academic level, but also in the institutional level. We have to invest the, so that we can continue to be in the top in terms of uh, universities. Another, um, uh, another uh, challenge is that of training uh, of our uh, lectures. Uh, the transformation to a uh, research university uh, needs uh, people with masters and PhDs. So, uh, the training of our colleagues at Mass and PhD is another challenge, and here comes the cooperation with the uh, universities and, and, and the civil religion, or not only, 
so that we can send uh, our lectures to be trained at the masters and the PhD level. But we can also organize masters and PhDs at our country so that uh, we do not have people moving here. But the, with the support of the lecture of different universities, we can uh, improve the quality of our teachers and, and, uh, and uh, our lectures trained at home at, at master's and PhD level. Another uh, a challenge would be the one of um, having an environment to do research. Uh, because a university without research, as I mentioned, is not a university, it's just a teaching school. So, but to do quality research, it is necessary to invest on infrastructure. It is necessary to invest on equipment. Uh, and uh, this uh, investment uh, is not uh, enough from our country. Uh, there is a lot of funding from uh, the country for the, for the research part at least. So we should or well have to look for alternatives to get more funds for research, because for the uh, working of the university, the government is supporting, but for the research part, we have to look for um, alternatives. Ourselves, we have uh, initiated uh, some kind of uh, private, pri private public partnerships. Uh, so bring uh, the, the private system to the, to the university so that we can get extra funds. Uh, we ourselves also here, we have, uh, prepared what we can we call research fund. With the research fund we are trying to get funds from different donors, put it in a port and try to uh, distribute it to our lecture so that they can uh, do uh, a kind of uh, uh, some, some quality research. And uh, the last one I think I should mention is the issue of be more international, internationalization of the university. Uh, we are a Portuguese speaking country, uh, but we think that uh, the language should not be a barrier to students to come to the university. So this is why at the uh, graduate level we are teaching, uh, at the undergraduate level we are teaching in Portuguese, but at the master's and PhD level we are teaching in, in English so that we can open the doors to students from uh, uh, different parts of the world who can come and um, uh, stay at, at, at our campus. Uh, otherwise, it would be a Portuguese-speaking university, what is not uh, our goal in terms of uh, future and, uh, and, 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 and prestige, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think it is uh, important that uh, every language is given its importance uh, in, in, in the system. Uh, in our case, uh, the language we are speaking is spoken by billions of people because as Mozambique, then we have Brazil where we have many, many people. Uh, so I, I, I agree and I think that uh, we should not give priority to one or another language. But we should give the, the student the, the possibility of coming to, to the campus and they have a wide range of, 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 of opportunities in terms of language. Because of that, we have created a, a center for language studies. This center of language studies is not only doing uh, studies in terms of language, but also training uh, our students so that they can be able to speak not only Portuguese, but other language which used to be uh, Italian, uh, some French, uh, German. Uh, it means that I believe that uh, a university campus should also be a multilingual uh, space where everyone can express himself with the language he can. And uh, as I said, there is an effort from our lectures not to teach only in Portuguese, but uh, be able to use other languages so that we can attract students who are not only from the Portuguese speaking community. Uh, we, have, we, have been, uh, we have been cooperating with some universities which are members of, of, uh, of CIVIS for a long, a long period. Uh, not, not so many, but at least three of them are, are part of our list. 
but I think the cooperation, the way it is uh, done now, uh, it is better because it is a kind of multilateral cooperation. That is not a bilateral, it is a multilateral cooperation. With this kind of cooperation, we hope that using the service alliance, which, is, uh, uh, which are invited has to be part, uh, our network will be enlarged. We will uh, have access not only to Australia University, but the university of, of all the universities which are part of this. Uh, the second advantage is that um, uh, uh, CVS has defined some hubs, and these hubs are also aligned with the SDGs. So for us, this is a, a, an opportunity of having, the opportunity of having the possibility of implementing the SDGs using the CVS network, which is uh, vibrant and uh, showing all the, the results. And the another one is that, as I mentioned, our um, training at the Mass and the PhD level is still weak. And here, as we see, uh, the universe, all of them, they're offering all this kind of training. This is, is an open door to our lectures to benefit from uh, this kind of, of, of training. In summary, uh, the university will be more exposed using the alliance, or using the network to benefit from uh, services doing, it's, uh, mainly implementing the SD SDGs, uh, which are also almost part of this framework.